for my final project for this class, I decided to do a photo book on all the different colorful areas around Oklahoma City. Driving around looking stuff for my other assignments, I kept going past all these beautiful, colorful buildings and murals and some of my early morning, late night photo shoots. There's all this gorgeous neon art all over the city. And it is definitely not what people think of when they look at Oklahoma City. So I figured I would put that together in a photo book to kind of showcase that. And much like when you're in these neighborhoods and you're walking around, you go from the colorful buildings past all these murals. And then as the sun goes down and the neon comes on, there's just more to see and it is absolutely fantastic. So let's get started. This is the class and inn. It was an old hotel that was bought as a boutique hotel owned locally. And they went through and put together this really cool retro vibe. So uh, it's really a great place to go. And in keeping with the theme of my book, when you come to Oklahoma City, add a little color to your stay. These photos were taken in the Wheeler District. They call it that because there's a Ferris wheel there now. Interesting fact is where this neighborhood is from 1947 to 2007, there was a downtown air park. It was an airport for airplanes flying in and out of Oklahoma City. And at the time it was only one of two cities in the entire country that had an airport close to downtown. And the other city was not New York or Chicago or L.A. This is down in Automobile Alley. And they have these flags all over the place in the city to tell you what neighborhood you're in. It's got some really cool neon signs. I'll show them to you here in a bit. Even the streetcars are colorful. You wouldn't know it, you wouldn't think about it, but Oklahoma City has got a pretty active kayak whitewater culture going on. Oklahoma City is, in fact, the home of the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic rowing and kayaking and whitewater teams. The Factory Obscure is a fun little place where you can go and make mixtapes, CDs, put them on a USB drive, so you can make your ultimate mixtape. This is down in what they call the Plaza District. It has outdoor dining, a lot of cool little shops. And walking through there past all these colorful buildings, next thing you know, you're passing all these different amazing murals all over the place. As you can see, everywhere that I could, I tried to get all the information from the artist who did these amazing work to make sure the credit goes where credit is due. And if you want to see more of their work, you can look them up. Some of these murals are so sharp that you wouldn't know that they were painted by hand. And as we all know now, any surface at all can be a location for art. This piece really struck me because some of these lines are so incredibly crisp. Just because the light goes down doesn't mean the colors fade away. The 
is a historic theater on the north side of Oklahoma City. It's been renovated, has a lot of underground alternative bands, uh, a lot of cool stuff like that. As you can see, presented by this bank, there's a lot of businesses that will come and buy out every seat and open it up as free concerts for all the people to come and enjoy. Just another reason why I love my city. This is down in Automobile Alley again. They've taken these wonderful old neon signs from when they were dealerships and businesses and have renovated them to keep that feel for back in the 40s and 50s. My goal is to make you feel like you're actually walking through the area with this book. So you'll see this little sign down here that kind of catches your eye. And here's a lot more of it. Sunshine Cleaners is not here anymore, but it's now a microbrewery and a restaurant. And they took the time, as you can see, to make sure that all three sides of this sign still work, just to keep that feel going. Feedback from one of my professors said that I needed to work on making sure that people knew this was in Oklahoma City. And I originally thought it about putting QR codes on all the different pages, but I didn't want it to feel too touristy. So if I were to print up more copies of this, I think back here, I would put all the different locations in order so that when you came here, you could go and see them. That's my book. Thanks for watching.